Okay, this is video three for our Parent Child Book Club. You've finished reading chapter one and two of Freckle Juice. We're going to be reading chapter three tonight. And it's all about improving comprehension. How can we help kids better understand what they read? And what we're trying to do is think about your thinking, which is metacognition. Grab those thoughts, okay? So we've already talked about making connections, questioning, and also visualizing. Tonight we're going to focus on another strategy of inferring. Inferring. Now I hope that your child can tell you what that means. We talk about it a lot at school, making inferences. It's when you put the puzzle pieces together to see the big picture. You know, a lot of times you read a story, the author doesn't just come right out and tell you everything. They like to leave little clues, and they expect you, the reader, to put the clues together and then understand what's happening. But if we're not grabbing all the clues and we're, if we're not putting them together, then we're not understanding. This is a really huge, important strategy, especially for third grade. I think this is really like the next step after second grade. This is really what we want them to learn the most in third grade, okay? It's our main focus. So one way of thinking about it is... I read, I know, I think, and so, okay, so we are given um, information in the text, what we read. We put it together with what we already know, what's already in our head. So we put the book together with what's in our head. We have to think about it a little bit, put the pieces together, and so then we see the picture. We form an idea that the author wanted us to see, okay? The code for this, if you're reading and you realize, hey, I just figured something out. I put the pieces together and I just figured it out. That's making an inference and the code is 2 plus 2 because it's like you put it together, okay? Another type of inference, though, is a prediction. Um, whenever you make a prediction, it's because you read something and you put it together with something you know, and that's making you think that you know what's coming next, okay? So a prediction is really a type of inference. P is the code. And then aha is a big inference. This is when a big idea is revealed. You know, you, it's like when lots of the pieces come together. You know, all of a sudden, oh, I get it now. That's really important. That's a big part of the puzzle. That's an aha moment when you're reading. So let's try to um, make some inferences in Chapter 3 tonight and use these codes as well. So I'd like you to pause the video here. And then go read chapter 3 and come back and answer some questions I've got. Pause now. Okay. I hope you enjoyed chapter 3. Um, kind of the climax of this story, right? And here's a question. How did Andrew's mom know that he didn't need to go to the hospital? What were the clues that she thought he had appendicitis, but then she realized he didn't? How did she know? Why did he stay home? And then, after he stayed home, the next day, he still didn't want to go to school. Why didn't Andrew want to go to school? Okay? So think about those, talk about those together, talk about whatever else you want to talk about with the story, and thanks for keeping up with this and joining me in this club. All right, I'll see you for Chapter 4.